Hello guys and dolls. Um, first off, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, this channel is just for fun. I really didn't anticipate anyone watching it, so um, it means a lot to me that I have two new subscribers, bringing my grand total to four. Um, so thank you guys, that's pretty cool. Um, today I would like to talk to you about two mascaras that are kind of rocking my life right now. Um, so the brand, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Vivienne, there it goes, Sa Sabo, I don't know what that um, accent mark means, but anywho, the uh, Cabaret P Premier, Premier. Um, I went to repurchase this on Amazon recently, and um, there was a message that said, oh, it looks like you bought this four times before, and I was back for my fifth. So I was like, oh, wow, uh, I didn't even realize that this is totally holy grail status for me. Um, so I decided, you know what, let me, let me see what else they offer. Um, so I ended up getting the provocation. I don't know if that's in focus because I don't have my glasses on because I'm going to show you what they look like. So sorry if that's not in focus. Um, so... I ended up just getting the provocation because I didn't know how similar they would be. Um, so this isn't a brand new uh, cabaret premiere, but it, it's still it's still good. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys what my eyelashes look like originally before I even put on any um, coverage because you know I'm, I'm I'm gonna cover these dark circles so you can really see. The, the final look. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do one on each eye. I'll give you a quick look. Hold on. Hey, okay, so I'm sorry about all the smudges everywhere. Um, I've stopped using Q-tips uh, just to generate less waste. I bought some alternatives that are weird, but that's not what this video is about. Look at that flutter. Compared to the other side. What? That's crazy. Um, so the one that I just used was the, uh, the volume. And this one came, um, in the box that I showed you. And it had a, um, like a plastic seal on it, which is what you want in mascara for sure. And, um... The plastic was perforated, so it's very easy to remove. No struggling with that. Like, why isn't that standard? So there's this one compared to neutral. And then I'm going to show you the, um, ah, yes, the Cabaret Premier next. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try to hurry up because this is taco time. We're going out for tacos. Anywho, so this is the, once again, the cabaret on this eye, the provocation on this eye. When I compared them, to, uh, when I compared them in the mirror, I preferred this side because the lashes have more separation. They're lighter. They aren't as thick. But when I went back and looked at the playback, I mean, this side looks nice too because it they the lashes are thicker and so they pop more. They stand out a little bit more. This looks not bad, but definitely more like an everyday version of this one. Um, so uh, each of these retail for usually about $12. Sometimes they um, are no longer available, but they always come back. Um, there is a set for these, um, instead of 24, you get them for 20. So I will link, um, each as individuals and also as together, no financial interest. Um, and also if you have time, I swear this is not an engagement ploy, but if you know, um, how to just like get rid of, um, all the makeup smudges 
without q-tips um i i just went in with some um concealer and and just kind of went along my lash line but that's kind of a pain um and then they have like um remover pens and stuff like i don't know please tell me please tell me and i'll i'll, I'll post it for you guys how it worked out um because yeah i just i don't want to I don't want to generate a bunch of trash. Like, it's rude. Anywho, if you if you made it this far, I appreciate you, and I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night.